Hey, welcome back. This time we're going to talk about some of the special modifications I've made to this bike. Things I thought, well, I'm doing it. I might as well do it. So again, yes, all of my wires for all of my accessories. So on this side, the turn signal switch, my camera. This is my forward sensing camera right there forward pointing camera so it gives a view of approximately like this all the wires run inside okay once again my water bottle stainless steel mangled up so it fits works perfectly this is a dollar store flashlight I took the guts out of it and I have a tiny little Leatherman multi-tool inside of there it's gotten me out of a pinch or two this controller here has the horn button, the turn signals left and right, high beam, low beam, headlight switch. This whole thing is something I made. I made this out of an old master cylinder. By cutting it away, that area there, on that one, I made this. Okay. Talking about my barn mirrors, I love my barn mirrors. Okay. Um, alternator, high power alternator, because nothing worse than not having a motorcycle that will start, because you have to push it or ask somebody to push you. Very awkward and embarrassing. Ask me how I know that. Also, to cover my butt, I installed a voltmeter down there. I can always keep an eye on it. If it stops charging, I hustle home. My lower license plate mount bracket. Nice and low. Low enough. I get stopped by the cops enough. They uh, they love it? No, they don't. Too bad. My ignition key is under here. That's my camera. Comes on automatically. All the brackets holding the seat on. I have a 12 volt power outlet right here. under the seat. Sorry for the bright light. Here's the controller for the camera. Alright. And then also under here, oops, I have a couple USB ports. I have the circuit breaker right there. There's a ground port. My fuse wiring is right here. That was the camera turning off. Yeah, so again, little different things I made. I really had to put that fuel gauge on there. I thought I, I really needed it because it's a small gas tank. And I like to know at a glance whether I'm going to stop. It's very awkward stopping, checking for how much fuel you have in a bike. Yeah, different mods. One of the other mods I had to do previously, I mentioned about having that on the front of the bike when it looked different. That headlight was much larger than that headlight. So at the time, all of my wiring was inside the back of that headlight. But now, I had to change that. And I had to move all the wiring under here. Since all the wiring is under here, I had to make it fairly easy to get to the wiring if I ever had to do anything. So, remove the seat, and there are those four bolts. I'll show you. Yeah, so it's not much to take this seat off. I just have these four bolts here. They come off in no time. Alright, just like I said, they come off in no time. I'll pop this cover off and take a look. There we are. 
Whoops. So underneath that seat, this is the big bracket I made to hold the seat on. And my tail light. Here's my rear facing camera. Yeah, you never know I had a rear on there too. Yes, sir. Good. Here's a common ground, so all my ground terminals go here. It's a little messy back here. I'd like to straighten this out a bit next time. Maybe. Wiring for the camera, a relay, uh, sorry, a circuit breaker for my main power. Here's my ignition switch right here. Here's my 12 volt power source. I have a toggle switch here that can be activated from underneath the bike, underneath the fender. Nobody knows it's there. Makes it nice and safe. Everybody's happy. Okay, here's the camera head. There's my two USB ports. There's a fuse there, there's a fuse there, there's a fuse there, and there's a fuse there. Everything's fused. I'm running up to the front. And one thing I would like to mention also. These are LED turn signals. So LED turn signals, unless you modify to a LED turn signal relay, I'm just using a normal one right here, they either will not flash or they flash too quick. But what I had done, uh, I figured it out, as you look right here, I turn the turn signals on, I installed a light bulb that lights up, covered with heat shrink, heat shrink, sorry. That way it will cause enough draw to make the light work. So if you have an LED signal that's flashing too quickly, put a light bulb in line with it. That's not a very big light bulb. And it works. Hey again. Alright. So, thanks for checking out my bike. Hopefully you either get some ideas from it. Hopefully you are inspired to make something. But yeah. I get a lot of people come up and tell me this is cool. I didn't build it for them. I built it for me. So build what you like. Doesn't matter what other people are doing. Doesn't matter what other people are riding. If you like it, build it. See ya.